As you all know, I received a letter from the president's personal physician this morning. We released it to you shortly thereafter in the interest of transparency. I have the letter here and I just want to uh, read it through uh, so we can get started before we get started. This morning, as part of our routine screening program for the president, the SARS-CoV-2 virus was detected by antigen testing. This result was subsequently confirmed by a PCR test. On questioning, President Biden is currently experiencing mild symptoms, mostly a running nose and fatigue, with an occasional dry cough, which started yesterday evening. Given that he meets USA Food and Drug Administration, FDA, emergency use authority criteria for Paxovid, I have recommended initi initiating such treatment. The president is fully vaccinated and twice boosted, so I anticipate that he will respond favorably as most, as most maximally protected patients do. Early use of Paxlovid in this case provides additional protection against severe disease. He will isolate in accordance with CDC recommendations. I will keep your office updated with any changes in his condition or treatment plan. I also wanted to provide you with a brief readout of the president's activities today. The president has been working from the residents like so many of us have during this pandemic, doing calls with senior staff, including the chief of staff, myself, and Dr. Jha, who's here with us. As, as we read out, the president also called Senator Casey, Representative Cartwright, mayors of Scranton, mayor of Wilkesboro, and Representative Clyburn. The president also called a few of his cousins from Scranton who were set to attend today's event in Pennsylvania. And he, he spoke with Ambassador Giddenstein and Cornyn. You all have seen the photo he posted on and the video that was just released to all of you out of transparency moments ago. The president will continue to work from the residents. Today, as you all know, as I just mentioned, and as we sent out earlier, Dr. Ashish Jha, our COVID-19 response coordinator, uh, is joining us today in the briefing room. And as I tweeted out earlier, Dr. Jha and I spoke to the president this morning, and he said he's feeling fine. He has a little dry, dry uh, cough, as I just mentioned from the doctor's letter, a little ro ro runny nose. Uh, he's feeling tired, but he's ver working very hard on behalf of the American people. And with that, Dr. Jha. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm pleased to be with you. Um, so uh, as Corinne mentioned, I spoke to the president earlier. I also spoke uh, at length with Dr. O'Connor, who is um, the president's personal physician. And I'm happy to share the readout of these conversations with you, and then I'm happy to take questions. In terms of my conversation with the president, uh, he sounded great. I asked him, you know, Mr. President, how are you feeling? He said, I'm feeling fine. Um, he said he was, he was feeling fine. He had been working all morning. Uh, he hadn't even been able to finish his breakfast because he had just been busy. I encouraged him to finish his breakfast. Um, in terms of uh, my conversation with Dr. O'Connor, we, we talked at length about what happened this morning. Uh, as Corinne mentioned, uh, the president got his uh, regular testing that he does on his, on, on his regular cadence. Uh, after he tested positive, he reported uh, these symptoms that have been described. Dr. O'Connor examined him thoroughly, he found his exam to be normal, to be at his baseline. Um, and, uh, and then obviously he recommended that the president take Paxlovid. Uh, the president accepted that recommendation and has started Paxlovid and has taken his first course already. Um, I want to also just take a minute to sort of mark this moment. You know, because the president is fully vaccinated, double boosted, his risk of serious illness is dramatically lower. He's also getting treated with a very powerful antiviral, and that further reduces his risk of serious illness. And it's a reminder of the reason that we all work so hard to make sure that every American has the same level of protection that the president has, that every American has the same level of immunity, and why we have worked so hard to make sure that people have access to life-saving treatments like Paxlovid. 
These are incredibly important things for the president to have. They're incredibly important things for every American to have. And we have worked very hard over the last 18 months to make sure we have plenty of vaccines, that we have plenty of therapies, that people can get tested on a regular basis, as the president does, because testing allows you to identify an infection early and get started with treatment early. And we all know from medicine that early treatment is always better. Um, let me also take a moment to talk about BA5. If you've listened to me at all in the last couple of weeks, uh, you heard me talk a lot about this subvariant of Omicron that is now 70, 80% of all infections in the United States. Um, it's a reminder to everyone, if you are over 50, the way I am, the way many of you might be, if you are over the age of 50 and if you've not gotten a vaccine shot in the year 2022, you need to go get one. You need to go get one now because it will dramatically improve your protect level of protection, reduce your risk of having serious illness. It's the best thing that people can be doing. Let me just finish by saying, obviously we work hard to protect the president, make sure he's, and he's been vaccinated and boosted, has access to treatments. We also have been working very, very hard to make sure every American has access to the same things. Because every American deserves access to the best vaccines, the best, best treatments, and they are widely available. And I want to use this moment to remind everybody of that and to remind everybody to avail themselves of that. Get vaccinated. If you have a breakthrough infection, get treated. It's the best thing you can do to protect yourself. Let me stop and take questions, and I know you will as well. Yeah. We'll both take questions, but uh, go ahead, Nancy. Thank you so much, Dr. John. Has uh, the president been, been tested to determine which variant he has? Is it BA5? And if so, what does that say about his prognosis? It's a great question. Um, the virus has been sent off for sequencing. It takes usually about a week for that sequencing to come back. That's under normal circumstances. He's the president. The sequencing will get prioritized. So we should have an answer sooner than that. But you can't just tell from a regular test what kind of variant. So the sequencing results will be back at some point less than a week from now. And has the president had to halt any of his regular medications now that he's taking Paxlovid? And what are you doing to mitigate the risk from halting those medications? Yeah, so this is a, I had a conversation with, about this with Dr. O'Connor. There are two medicines. He's on Eliquis and Crestor, cholesterol-lowering medicine, and a blood thinner for his atrial fibrillation, both of which need to be stopped when you take Paxlovid. It's a very uh, standard common thing that we do when we give people Paxlovid. Um, and you don't need to do anything in those uh, circumstances. Uh, they, they both get stopped for the five days that he's on uh, Paxlovid, and then they get restarted, and it's totally fine and pretty normal practice. 